So I'm going to quickly explain the upcoming video. Now the police were not that polite before the camera was turned on. When I first approached them at the gate, they were shouting, they were rude and they were aggressive. And I've got no interest whatsoever in having a conversation with somebody that thinks behaving like that is acceptable, whether they're a police officer or whether they're not. Um, I've certainly got no interest in having any confrontation with the, um, with the police. I knew what was going to happen. I kept my cool. I went and got my stuff ready and I went and got myself ready. And it was only when they climbed the gate um, and approached the house was when I confronted them. Now, I can't talk about my case, um, and I'm not gonna, but I can talk about the family court in general. In a criminal court, you need to prove beyond reasonable doubt. Now, in a family court, you can have an order slapped on you without any evidence being produced whatsoever. And that's wrong, that's giving somebody else power over you. That's, um, that's giving them a weapon to use um, against somebody else. That's, that weapon is the police. They're, they're, they're able to use the police as pawns whenever they're angry, whenever they're upset, whenever they're feeling emotional, whenever they're feeling jealous, they have that power to use at any moment. Now, I now have somebody from my past who's stalking my life, who's stalking my social media, who's using the justice system against me whenever they see fit. And the only, well, I can't defend myself. The only way I can defend myself is by taking civil action, which I am, but that takes time. And that's just not fair. Now, I want to make it clear. I have no issues and no problems at all with the police. In fact, if, if my children went missing tomorrow, the police would be the first people that I would call. I have fans in different forces around the country and in other countries. But because I've done videos exposing some bad police officers, which happened to belong to Northamptonshire Police Force, that has now opened me up for bullying from the Northampton Police. And it's fucking unacceptable. And I will not be bullied. I was held for 11 hours yesterday, then interviewed, then released without charge. And they decided to arrest me before seeing any evidence of the allegation that was made against me. The only seeked evidence against me when I was in the police station for 11 hours. So before they come to arrest me, they hadn't seen any evidence whatsoever. Because, well, there was none anyway. And it's unacceptable. I am now being bullied by Northamptonshire police. So I want to make this very clear. Every time you come for me, I will record it. I don't do it for likes. I don't need to post videos and pictures for likes. Just look at my, my fan page. I don't need to do that. What my page is, my page will always remain truthful. And I will just expose you for who you really are. If you're going to come into my place of work and arrest me in front of my customers, you're going to come into Tesco's and arrest me in front of my mother, which I ended up suing you for. If you're going to come to my house and arrest me, not only in front of a sponsored athlete that I've flown over, but also my friend, then I'll fucking embarrass you as a person and the force you represent. It's wrong. Now, you may be able to do this to the average man or woman, the average working man or woman, and get away with it, but you won't fucking do it to me because I have a power, which is social media. I have a voice, albeit it's a little power and a little voice compared to what a police force has, but it's a fucking voice. And it will be heard. It's unacceptable. Lee, you awake? Yeah. Um, you've been in the, in the country two hours. The police are surrounding the house. And they're arresting me for breaking a non-molestation order. This is, this is what happens when you give... When you give the power to somebody um, with no proof, it gives them power to fucking use whenever they want. And now it's going to be... A day of my life completely fucking wasted, again in myself. It's embarrassing. We've got an athlete here, supposed to be his host. And he said I was going to be the first one to bang you, but now if you go in the jail, somebody else might bang you. Oh, look, they can't. Hey, get off my fucking fence! Now, when I'm coming, you get off my fucking fence. It's only you on camera. You're on camera. You get off my fucking fence. Oh, I'm happy. Keep the camera on, Lee, just in case they taser me, because then I'll fucking swim again. I'm coming. Fucking wait there. I don't know you. 
We don't have to use force. We're, we're trying to be reasonable. You don't have to use force. You don't have to arrest me either. They're saying that um, I posted stuff about my ex on Facebook. You would have thought they would have gone on Facebook to have a look, wouldn't they? Do what? Can you open the gate now for us, please? Yeah, I need to get the key first. Okay, I don't know about how we've got a key or a button, I don't know. Right, well, I've just got in from the airport, my cleaner's been in, and I don't know where she is, so just forgive me. It's fine. You go to the gate as soon as you can, please. Thank you. Right, you're police. I can't exactly go anywhere, so the last thing I'm going to do That's is going to let you kick the door in. Okay? <laughs> so unless you want to struggle with me and drag me over a fucking gate, I suggest you just it? have a bit of fucking patience and wait. We don't are, come to my house, arrest me over bollocks, and then wanting me to talk. Remember what happened to PC Dickhead? Remember, remember, remember what happened to PC remember Dickhead? You're under caution. Remember what happened to PC Dickhead? Remember you're under caution. Right, well, if you carry on acting like this, the same will happen to you. You're being silly. This is what happens when you don't look at evidence and you just come round to arrest somebody. It's Merseyside, okay. not North Like I say, it's an allegation. Right, if somebody says, Aaron's done this online, wouldn't you th start by having a look to see if that's actually happened? You can ask the officers, Merseyside officers, when they speak to you. So maybe that might save resources and then save you lot a lot of time. Let's stop arguing about this now because we need to interview about it. You could put your side of the story on the interview. I will, but that camera's staying on until I know I'm safe. <laughs> that's fine. It's your, it's your house, you can do what you want. That's right, it's my fucking house. It is. And I also know my rights. I'm going to hold it back now. Um, I just need to make sure I've got anything. What station are you taking to? CJC, Northampton. Right. <clears throat> you fucking believable. Am I being interviewed straight away? Am I being... Hopefully, yeah. We'll let the investigation team know That's straight away. We should have subtitles, really. That's police talk to... No, you won't. You're going to be in <laughs> fucking all day you. and you'll probably be released maybe at 12 o'clock tonight. It's a good thing I'm taking a nap there, isn't it? <laughs> it is a good thing I'm taking a nap. Um, you want me to hold on to that controller? I've got a lot to do today. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, you're going to have to... Cabin will be over in a bit anyway. OK. What? What time's you coming, like 12 ish? Cuff me up or are you going to let me sit in the car? If you're going to be reasonable with us, I don't really see any reason... When have I never been reasonable with you? OK. I'll go stay, with you whenever. It's all you guys that come into my place stay, to work with fucking guns. It's you guys that want to push me around with handcuffs on. I've always said to you, and I'll say it now on camera, yeah. I am no threat to you. I will walk wherever. That's fine. I don't want to be tasered. If you stay like I don't this, want to be roughed up. If you stay like this, we'll I'm just fine. very pissed There's off. There's no need to handcuff yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mally. Come come I'll, I'll sit in the back with you, and then you can come on me. Don't need to handcuff yet. You've got this on the press. You can go in the back, no problem. Marley, in. Last time they came into my gym, they, they said that Marley was an aggressive dog, and he nearly got tasered. I was here for that too. That must be a good luck charm. <laughs> Every time I come from Australia, uh, you leave me. me anyway, not him. <laughs> He's got a tattoo on his face yeah. too. Oh, well, I've met you before. So it's a bit, bit not the same, is it, really? Not the same. That was the accent. Well, actually, you're famous, isn't you? So that's why. So are you lot. Next, you time, next, nice next time you should have said g'day. Oh, okay. we'll get this. <laughs> Bye, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Welcome to England. <laughs> I thought Australia had all the convicts. <laughs> 